Hello everyone, this is Carlos from Everything Tech and in this video I'm unboxing and testing the Aegis Bio 3 by Epicorn. This is a 256-bit AES SSD hardware encrypted with a fingerprint sensor in a 2.5 inch enclosure caddy. The drive is designed and assembled in the USA and it comes with a 3-year limited warranty. It provides real-time 256-bit AES XTS encryption, seamlessly encrypts all data on the drive, protecting your data even if the drive is removed from its casing. Getting into the box, the first thing to come out is the drive itself and it comes in this really nice pouch so you can keep the cables on the back and protect your drive from knocks and bumps. And here is the Authentech touch strip fingerprint sensor and the fingerprint enroll button at the bottom. On the side of the device is the integrated USB 3 cable with data transfer speeds up to 10 times faster than a traditional USB 2. Further into the box we get the Y auxiliary power cable. And last but not least is the quick start guide. Now let's go over to the computer and try and set up the drive in Windows 7. Let's scan a few fingerprints and then do the same in macOS and see how the drive fares. Now let's plug the drive onto the computer with Windows 7. This is a MacBook Pro but it has Windows 7 on it and see just how easy it is to set up the fingerprints. So plug in your USB 3 and you get greeted with a green blinking light and a solid blue light. So it's asking us to scan the fingerprint. Now the solid blue light disappears and the green light flickers. This means that it's accepted the fingerprint. So keep on swiping until both lights are solid. When both lights are solid, like just like now, it means that your first fingerprint has been accepted and it's ready to use. If you want to scan another fingerprint, just press the enroll button within 15 seconds and you'll be able to scan another fingerprint. Now let's test to see if our fingerprint has worked and if the drive will give us access when swiping our finger. And here we go, it works just fine and now I have access to my drive. If you would like to scan another finger but miss the 15 second deadline, plug in your wages bio to the computer and the LED should be red. Push the enroll button for 3 seconds and the blue and the red LED should remain illuminated. Scan the finger that you have scanned previously. Then the blue and green LED will light up and the green LED will be blinking, ready to scan another fingerprint. Now let's go over to macOS and see if our fingerprints are still recognizable and if I still can get access to my data even being on another computer. As you might have noticed, I did not have to install any software at all. The drive does everything internally. I've set up macOS to show the drive on a desktop once it's plugged in. So let's plug in the drive and see what we get. The red light shows on the drive, meaning that the drive is locked. Now let's swipe our finger and see if we can get access to the data. And here it is, the data is now showing on the desktop. It's asking me to use the drive as a backup, but I'm going to ignore these and see if I can access the user guide inside of the drive. And there it is. 
one thing to be aware in macOS is that the drive is formatted as MTFS so you're not going to be able to transfer any data into the drive from macOS unless you format it in EXFAT or FAT32. So who is this device for? Why would you buy a device that can encrypt your data? This device is used by many people worldwide. People that work for the government, that carry sensitive information. Also journalists that carry stories and information that they don't want anybody else to see. Even architects that carry plans around building drawings that nobody can see until the building is, is built. There are many uses for this device. The device is well built and the fingerprint works every single time. I recommend this device to anybody that wants to protect sensitive data or moving sensitive data from one side to another. So I guess this is it for this video guys. Thank you very much for watching. If you did like this video, please give me a thumbs up and consider subscribing for more content like this. All the relevant links on the, of the product and the manufacturer are on the description below. I will also leave links to where you can buy this product. So thanks again for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye.